Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture on assertion of marginal identity through alternative media. This lecture is a part of your paper on media and margins. In this lecture we will learn about the assertion of marginal identity through the concept of alternative media. This lecture will also deal with how the concepts of alternative media was theorized and finally how it was used in communication studies. This lecture makes a thorough analysis of marginalization and assertion of marginal voices in the context of alternative media discourse power and deals with the potential implications of this phenomena regarding marginalized as the subjects and objects of mass media. This lecture further examines the relationships between alternative forms of mass media and political concepts such as democracy and citizenship and in the process of doing so it explores the role and purpose of alternative media. We are well aware that media has had an enormous impact on our culture, society and in everyday aspect of our life. The mass media is a window for reflecting the mass ideology. Since the advent of the internet, alternative media has taken varied shapes and forms. According to academic definitions, the alternative media practices diverge from dominant or traditional types of media in terms of its media production, distribution and content. In the Indian context, alternative media entails that these sources of news do not follow the flow of mainstream media. Alternative media in India has grown to launch different narratives in a time where many feel that their voices are not simply heard through the complex medium of political correctness, transformative rhetoric and the general disregard for objectivity. Marginal Identity According to Stephen Menel in The Formation of V-Images, a Process Theory, identities are layered and multifaceted. They range from informally personal and unique to the widely collective and binding. Identities are a mode of making sense of who we are and as such may be the result of a very sole mechanism of reflection, choice and an empowering expression of beliefs, tastes and values. Nonetheless, identities are also socially constructed and determined by wider social, cultural, political and economic contexts. They may be interpreted from different viewpoint or even enforced upon particular society or individuals by others often as a consequence of inequalities of power and authority. In this case, identities may be divisive and repressive or even rebellious and subversive. In this regard, marginalized groups often face complicated choices in defining and 
representing their own identities. They may embrace or feel compelled to assimilate the norms and values of dominant social group thus abandoning alternative identities or at least judging them by the standards of the dominant group. Further, when we contextualize the concept of media marginality, the term marginalization evokes a dynamic between two social analytical categories, the mainstream and an area called the margins. The center is normally associated with dominance, privilege and power. The margins with relative powerlessness. To be marginalized is to be placed in the margins and thus excluded from the privilege and power found at the center. What counts as marginal regarding the characteristics, functions and meanings of margins is contested, highly contextual and historically specific. As per the above discussion about marginal identities, marginalization is often based on such notions as caste, gender, language, culture, race, religion, sexual orientation, political connection, class or socioeconomic position and geographical area. Regulated by context and level of analysis, groups, individuals, organizations, communities and even entire geopolitical systems can be seen as marginalized. For detailed conceptual understanding of marginal identity, you can also look at the concept of social exclusion and marginalization. Alternative media and its genesis. When you hear the term alternative media, what is it that comes to your mind? You may immediately speak of something that is part of the mainstream media. Media technology ever since its evolution has witnessed revolutionary changes from content to the packaging of news to the presentation made to the audience. This emergence of alternative media can be seen as a consequence of these evolutionary changes which has over a period of time demanded more inclusive audience and actual viewership. Alternative media can be those which have appeared in such periods of history whenever mainstream media has failed to address issues at hand. However, there is no one particular definition of it. The emergence of alternative media in history can be rooted back to DATA movement which is contemporary to the First World War and the Situationist International associated with the French social movement of 1968. These artistic moves had an explicit political objective, a critic of political and economic regimes and made use of popular media technologies and content to intervene in mainstream culture, mixing media in order to manifest. Over a period, a number of these underground or alternative publications gained a considerable number of readers and audiences for themselves. With the proliferation of technology, alternative media ranges from community media to fanzines to news websites. 
it covers a wide spectrum of media forms that had somewhere challenged the status quo of mainstream media. A theoretical approach to alternative media. So now the discussion so far you learned that alternative media are media that differ from traditional or mainstream media in terms of their media content, production or distribution. You also learned alternative media take many forms including print, audio, video, internet and street art. Although a concise and universal definition of alternative media remains uncertain, there appears to be a considerable degree of agreement among media practitioners and scholars on alternative media that such media can play a significant role in reflecting nurturing and manifesting what can be identified as active citizenship. According to Zach Furness, the concept of alternative media emerged as a response to the problems posed by a profit-driven media industry in which only a few corporations decided on what type of media content would be produced, which topics would be discussed, which forms of expression would be seen or heard, and whose voice would be intimately silenced. Alternative media is perceived to be the key agent in providing diverse content to democratic societies. Alternative media which are situated out of mainstream media have been said to articulate a social order different from and often opposed to the dominant. Alternative media which is quintessentially different from the mainstream media can transform spectators into active participator of everyday dealings and events affecting their lives. In other words, alternative media publish information which is generally not accepted and published in the mainstream media. Different scholars have researched the term alternative media for decades and it is evident from the proliferation of scholarly works on the topic. Because the mainstream media is in the hands of the ruling party, voices of the civil society, opposition parties and other pro-democracy movements are suppressed and restricted to access the public sphere. So, these voices are increasingly turning to alternative communicative spaces. Alternative media is generally considered to be a form of media that is not under the control of a media oligarchy or syndicate or a government agency. This form of media may involve several traditional outlets such as newspapers, magazines, radio, television and movies. Alternative media may also include new technology like websites, ebooks and e-magazines, streamed audio and video or other media outlets that are found online. In other words, media can be expressed in different forms, both printed and electronic, creative writing, art, music and video. The term alternative media in commonsensical understanding is used to denote any media which fall outside the formal corporate mainstream media and 
for media to be considered alternative, they must substantiate the Gramscian notion of the counter hegemonic. In the words of Robert E. Park, the term alternative means an unbroken and extended movement to challenge and critique mainstream and existing systems across politics, culture and society. James Hamilton who has contributed enormously to the field of communication argues for alternative media as maximizing audiences by appealing to safe and conventional formulas and preceding the comfortable depoliticizing formulas to advocate programs of social change. It would not be simple to describe alternative media because it in general employs unique news value, news formats and organizations. Although many researchers have used the term alternative media, there is not yet an agreement on its definition. The concept of alternative media has been evolving for more than a couple of decades. Many communication scholars insisted the potential or the need for having a media which is community oriented. The notion of alternative media was spoken and written during the domination of the media. For example, Brecht envisaged the democratic potential of radio broadcasting and pointed out the need for having a two-way communication. Further, Olga Bailey, in her edited book Understanding Alternative Media Issues in Cultural and Media Studies, argues of alternative media as having four important roles. The first two approaches are media centric and discuss alternative media activities from the perspective of the media producers in relation to the community and mainstream media. The latter two approaches come from a society centered perspective that sees alternative media's potential for the betterment of society and democracy by being part of a civil society and balancing the power play against or with the hegemonic institutions. Marginalized identities and impact of alternative media in India. Discrimination based on caste, gender, ethnicity and religious constitutes one of the gravest and prevalent global human rights challenges today, creating an impact on large portions of societies in many places of the world, which goes on to function as a deeply rooted system of grave violations of human rights. For example, members form the lowest strata of Indian society and undergo discrimination in all levels. They are denied education, deprived of basic facilities such as water, medical facilities, entry into religious places, burial ground and the list goes on. Ellen Artis, in her edited book, Economic, Social and Cultural Rights for Dalits in India, Case Study on Education in Gujarat, says that this hidden apartheid for centuries has perpetuated discrimination and denial of their human rights, has 
resulted not only in the creation of numerous other obstacles that hinder Dalit's ability to change their situation, but also in Dalit's representing a disproportionate amount of the poor in India. Further, when we talk about the minorities issue, gender and media representation, we can feel that the role of mainstream media has been negative. It has not provided enough space for minority options and portrayed them negatively. Mrinal Pandey in her chapter Indian Press the Vernacular and Mainstream Babel in edited book Muslim and Media Images writes that the press often fails in its roles of a powerful social watchdog as far as women and minorities are concerned. She further argues that minority and women lose out in this situation because male members of the majority community control media coverage and institutions. She problematizes the English language media influence on policy makers. The vernacular media in addition is still male dominated. At this juncture, the mass media in India is expected to play a pivotal role in the eradication of caste system, gender discrimination, religious fundamentalism and bring justice to all the marginalized identities affected and suffered on the basis of caste, ethnic conflict, religion and patriarchy. But there is a hue and cry from the marginalized community that mainstream media has time and again let them down. This is the reason as to why they have devoted to other forms of alternative media to speak for themselves. In this context, alternative media which is seen distinctively different from the mainstream media has the capacity to transform spectators into active participants of everyday dealings and events affecting their lives. In other words, alternative media publish information which is generally not accepted and published in the mainstream media. According to the Encyclopedia of Media and Politics 2007, in its most open and popular sense, the term alternative media consists of all media that are somehow opposed to or in tension with mainstream media. The assertion of marginal identity and internet as an alternative media. Mitra in his article Marginalized Voices in Cyberspace articulates that the internet serves as a medium where marginalized individuals can exercise discursive power and resist damaging representations. Socially marginalized groups speak to one another as they speak against authority. He says on the internet the marginalized can call on the dominant and put the dominant in the difficult position of acknowledging the marginalized or further distance the dispossessed by ignoring the call. The emergence of internet changed the notion and necessity of mainstream media. One of the revolutionary and innovative creations in recent years has been the use of the internet as a form of alternative media. 
as it is in the case of radio, television and movies which have been around for decades, the creation of alternative websites and features like blogs and other social networking sites that focus on minority points of view in the context of politics, music, fashion, lifestyle and other areas have proliferated. Historically, India has witnessed numerous subaltern struggles directed towards reclaiming cultural space and voice through alternative means, for example, songs, traditional theatre, puppetry, etc. The number of alternative media platforms has increased enormously in the last 10 years, especially in diverse societies like India where they are creating mediated spaces of communication for the marginalized to voice their demands for social, political, cultural and economic inclusion. In India, one of the fastest and largest growing populations of internet users in the world, the internet has become a powerful platform along with alternative media as well as for the marginalized communities. When we look at the Indian context, internet-based streams of alternative media discourse have challenged and critiqued the functioning of mainstream media monopoly. Round Table India, Two Circles, Milli Gazette, Kafila Counter, Currents, National Dastak, Dalit Dastak and The Wire could be mentioned among those important alternative media platforms. These alternative media platforms propagate an alternative media discourse which is more inclusive and critical of the functioning of the mainstream media. Community radio also has a strong background in participatory community development and essential tools for alternative media. The policy of community radio in India has been designed to increase grassroots involvement in the economic and social development process. But political empowerment of the grassroots has been excluded from its influence. Role of alternative media in deepening democracy. Functioning of alternative media targets a specific community independent of their form and organization. However, alternative media differs from the other types of media in terms of the type of relations it builds with the community, namely providing two-way communication promoting public participation and expression. With this regard to the issue of participation, Bailey suggests that participation in the media deals with the participation of non-professionals in the production of media output, that is media content related participation and in media decision making, that is structural participation. He notes that these forms of media participation pave the way for the performance of active citizens in many spheres and they function as a map for proper democratic and civic attitude to be performed in possible macro participation. On the other hand, participation through the media defined by Bailey embodies the opportunities for extensive participation in public debate and for self-representation in public spaces, providing an implicit reference to macro participation. From the above discussion, we can summarize that it is a widely acknowledged fact that alternative media has revealed its power and success to foster greater participation in the media. Inclusive participation of citizens has led 
to more democratization and deepening of democracy. Let us now sum up what we have learned in this lecture. It is hoped that after listening to this lecture, you should be able to understand the significance of alternative media and various theoretical approaches to it in the field of communication. You have learnt about the function of alternative media in social awakening and development. We also attempted to trace back the genesis of alternative media and the ways in which it has impacted political narratives in expressing the voices of people at margins and expressing their interest. You have further learned the importance of alternative media representation in communication studies in Indian context. Alternative media undoubtedly has been playing a significant role in upholding the democratic polity of India. It has become one of the vital players in community mobilization and serving the masses through progressive journalism. We often debate the role of mass media in society but it is commonly understood that media contribute to the formation of cultural practices and political opinions, the evolution of journalism and art, the construction of ideologies, that is collective ideas about the way the world should work, and the development of national, regional and self-identities. Mass media are an integral part of everyday life, but ironically, most people are never taught to understand, evaluate or critically analyze the ways that media work. Media education is virtually absent from most public schools in India. As mainstream media try to monopolize the newly created possibilities in media, cracks were left which alternative media now fills. Alternative media emerged when the mainstream media failed to speak for the marginal and minority communities. In an effort to provide a platform for such people, alternative media found its existence. Hence, various forms of alternative media mushroomed in all parts of the world. Currently, the situation has aggressed where the mainstream media is looking out to the alternative media for their source of news. All media cannot be called as an alternative media unless and until it possesses the characteristics indicative of alternative media. For further reading, please go through the e-text of this lecture. For detailed study of the subject, do refer to the extended reading list and do attempt all the questions given in the end. Thank you.